Namaste Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is Crystal the High Priestess. I know I've been out of the building lately and we will, we have a new deck here that we will start with, which is the Light Seas Tarot and the art on these cards are amazing. I can't wait to get started with this reading. So, let's see what's in store for our lovely Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding love for December. And the message will resonate as we get started. Right now, I am currently accepting personal readings. One question is the price in the description box you can see below. Two questions, three questions, so on and so forth. What do we have for our lovely Pisces? These cards are so beautiful. Merry Christmas, happy holidays to all. Pisces, you are going to be my first reading for the day since I am a Pisces, Sun Rising. What do we have for our lovely Pisces, Sun Moon Rising and Venus? This is my new card deck. Can't wait to start this off with Pisces. Regarding love universe, what do we have for our lovely Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for Pisces? Let's cut the deck and see what the universe has for our lovely Pisces. Pisces. Regarding love, so we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. So the Seven of Swords can speak of some kind of hidden agenda. This can be from someone you are involved with. And now what was hidden is now revealed. Okay, so now you're seeing what was hidden. All the hidden secrets that was hidden, you can now see clearly. Or it will be revealed eventually in December. Okay, so in the original tarot deck, writers, wait, we have... The swords, but in this deck, we're dealing with um, some crows, and you know the energy of a crow, meaning death and ending. So, what can mean self sacrifice? So, we're dealing with crows, okay? So, some hidden secrets being revealed, which is a good sign from the universe, and we also have Jupiter. Uh, and the moon, the full moon is in Jupiter, I believe, for the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio signs. Soon we will be moving into the Capricorn's energy, devilish energy, soon. So what do we have for Pisces regarding love, spirit? Love for Pisces. It's been so long to have it shuffled. Literally, you guys, the whole deck came out. I have to show these cards to you because we have like eight cards that flew out. This might be a whole story here. Let's see if I can grab these. <clears throat> Bear with me. So we have the Eight of Swords, the Moon, the Three of Swords, Heartbreak, the Page of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. It's dealing with um, a lot. I'm not going to clarify at this moment. going to shuffle some more for a lovely Pisces. And get all the messages out. The universe is trying to tell Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding love. What do we have for our lovely Pisces spirit? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. We have for love. Let's see what spirit wants to tell us. Okay, so far we have the hangman, which is amazing. This is our own energy here. So we're hanging. We normally, if the card was upright, we will be. Let me see if you guys can see in this angle here. No, you can't. <laughs> okay, so the hangman basically is the Pisces energy is in reverse. So, perhaps we were waiting for something. We're no longer interested in waiting. We, we ran out of patience, basically. 
and we want to move forward and it could be because of this heartbreak look at this woman she's literally in pain and agony screaming out saying why why you know just heartbroken you know allowed her heart to be used trusted the universe and now whoever hurt her she's no longer waiting so let's see what the universe has in store any more messages for our lovely pisces with this beautiful deck here okay let's get back to the board here and figure out what the universe is trying to tell our lovely pisces regarding love so magician magician manifestation manifesting okay which is in the reverse so perhaps we manifested this love and this is the pisces card as well as you can see it's like some kind of magic it's like listen whatever i manifested regarding love is not what it was or what it's supposed to be okay so let's get two more cards for our lovely pisces spirit what do we have for pisces sun moon rising and venus and we have the devil in reverse temptation codependency addictions we have the queen of pentacles in reverse this can speak of a taurus capricorn virgo energy here it's in reverse okay you also have the five of pentacles in reverse someone being left out in the cold but cannot see clearly because as you can see the car the key is here on the outside but this person is mourning um being left out in the cold okay so we're going to verify that as well and we also have the nine of cups in reverse so this could speak of someone walking away or being very um very more in tune into their energy the nine of cups and the upright can speak of uh love overwhelming love but when it's in reverse it's not happening the love that in those cups are now being pulled out so this can be definitely um let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here and we have the hermit so this is someone that's depressed or was depressed and was seeking solitude and questions and answers in solitude let's see if you can hear you can see the deck here so now because the hermit is in reverse this is the virgo energy is like a pisces is now awakening to that depressive state and now trying to come out of it okay so this is the pisces coming out of that negative feeling of depression and perhaps because they felt left out in the cold by someone they love. Okay. And we also have the devil, codependency, drugs, addictions, um, passion, lust, lusting for something that's not supposed to be lust after. You have the queen of pentacles. This is a queen. This is a stable queen. This is someone who's unstable or this could perhaps be your energy or the person that's um that you're dealing with that person is unstable okay or this could be you um just in this state of mind of why you know i was stable i'm no longer stable i'm no longer feeling stable she's holding her pentacles the pentacles is about finances stability love solitude happiness and the nine of cups pisces cancer scorpio energy here and like i said the love in those cups are now overwhelmed they're coming out there is is reversed the cups are reversed so we're going to use a crystal tarot um to verify these beautiful cards okay and uh like i said this could be your energy or this could be the person you're dealing with energy here okay so we have pisces we have pisces is definitely in this energy here we have three of stewards, which can be an energy of Aquarius, um, Libra, Gemini. You also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Okay, and just Pisces energy. And the Nine of Cups could be um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So basically everyone is here besides the fire. There's no fire here. 
So let's verify now. Why is the magician here, spirit for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay, let me get back in my position here. Why do we have the magician for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, spirit? Why is the uh, magician here regarding love? What is the message for our lovely Pisces spirit? Oof, this came right out, hermit. Seeking answers, sitting in solitude, okay? Let me see if you can see this here. Yes, you can see. So this can speak of Virgo energy, or this could be your own energy coming into the to the uh, reading here to say, um, listen, there's listening to your intuition going within to think about what it is that you want. You need more answers. You need more time to figure out what is the hidden secret or if there is a secret. Okay, so let's see why we have the Three of Swords here. This is so painful, literally. Just looking at this card gives me chills. Okay, so someone is in pain, Pisces. Let's see, who is the Three of Swords? Why is the Three of Swords here? For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Spirit. Why is the Three of Swords here? Ooh, okay, we had a couple cards that flew out. We have to just reshift it. Three of Swords is Strength, the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. This is a dirt. Uh, 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 dirt this is a third party relationship. Okay, now the Wands wants to show themselves. You have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you have um, the Wheel of Fortune. The High Priestess is underneath the deck. So the Spirit is saying, listen to your intuition regarding love. It's a third party relationship, four party, who knows? There's a lot of people here. Let's verify again, What is? why is the Three of Swords here? Who's the Three of Swords for Pisces Spirit? Why is the Three of Swords here for our lovely Pisces? So you have the, um, the Empress again. This could be a baby mother. This can be someone. Uh, Ten of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus card for the Empress. And this could be a baby mother. Someone who is involved with a baby mother. And this is why the relationship has heartbreak and pain. So let's see. Why do we have the Magician here, Spirit, for Pisces? Why is the Magician manifestation? Why is it we have a flipper here and we have it verified with the moon in reverse? So, this could speak of definitely some kind of deception, secret. Okay, so Pisces, whatever it is that you are feeling that's wrong in this relationship, listen to your intuition. Because whatever is hidden will be revealed because the moon is in reverse. And the moon card is about hidden secrets. And those secrets will come out. We have the hangman again in reverse. The page of pentacles. The nine of wands and the emperor. Okay. So this could speak of Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus card here. So let's verify now with spirit with the nine of cups. X spirit. Why is the nine of cups here in reverse for our lovely Pisces regarding love? Why is the nine of cups here? And we have it with judgment and the world and the king of cups. Okay, this is a Libra. Um, the king of cups can speak of a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in reverse. Okay, it's going to be some some judgment. It's not going to be right rightfully so. The judgment. In this relationship, who's ever judging this relationship was, or whoever you're dealing with is not in their right state of mind to judge whatever they're assuming and thinking, okay? So you, if you're dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio, that Cancer Pisces Scorpio has done something that they feel that they are being judged for. Okay, so let's verify so we can just get one card for the number of cups. Let's re-verify. 
spirit. What do we have? Why do we have the nine of cups here for our Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding love? Why do we have the nine of cups for Pisces? Okay, so we have a card that flipped out. And we have the five of swords. So the five of swords is not a good card to have. As you can see, she's the guy that she was in love with has stabbed her in the back. Okay, she, she's been stabbed in the back by someone she was in love with. So the Nine of Cups is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could have stabbed her in the back. Okay, and just left without even thinking about the consequences of what they did. So, Spirit is saying to you, Pisces, is if you walked away from this relationship, rightfully so. So why do we have the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse for a lovely Pisces spirit? Why do we have the Queen of Pentacles here for a lovely Pisces? And we have the King of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. So this is stability, okay? Five of Cups in reverse is mourning a loss of a past love, but you are no longer mourning that loss. You are focusing on yourself, on your pentacles, or perhaps you have a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn who wants to help you build your stability. And now we have a couple here. You have the King of Pentacles and the Upright. And you also have the Queen of Pentacles and um, in the reverse. So something in the re involving your past relationship, Pisces, was unstable to the point where you are feeling unsatisfied in something okay so let's verify so we can get one card for the queen of pentacles for pisces sun moon rising and venus spirit why is the queen of pentacles here for a lovely pisces sun moon rising and venus why is the queen of pentacles here spirit why is the queen of pentacles here for a lovely pisces why do we have the queen of pentacles the queen of wands and the star so this can speak of a aries sagittarius leo this is the other woman card and this is the star in reverse involving children so this could be have been someone that you're the person you love was dealing with another woman involving children so the pink queen of pentacles is in reverse so if your partner was leaving you for another earth sign Capricorn Taurus Virgo that that relationship is that person is not happy with whomever you're dealing with so we have this devil card here let's figure out why is this devil here Capricorn energy for Pisces why do we have the devil spirit for Pisces <sighs> child and it comes up with the six of pentacles in reverse you have the page of swords the nine of pentacles the seven of pentacles justice and the six of wands the six of wands speaks of defense fighting for something you know is right justice you want justice um the seven of pentacles is is prosperity the nine of pentacles speaks of an independent person who was single but no longer will be single don't want to be single but focused on their pentacles and then you have the page of swords it's like someone has been fighting aggressively and something and it might be surrounded by finances that's the double energy so maybe perhaps someone perhaps a capricorn have been trying to manipulate some kind of finance financial gain let's see why do we have the devil here for pisces sun moon rising and venus spirit why is the devil here for pisces and you have the eight of wands again fighting rushing and actually messages a message a quick message someone wants to perhaps apologize for their codependency Okay, someone wants to come in with a message and say, and heal this situation. Okay, so you have healing, Pisces. You have some messages coming in for you regarding this devilish, this devil energy, okay? So at the end of the tunnel, things are going to be okay, okay? 
things was rocky or will be rocky in the month of December, but you're going to surpass that, okay? And you have the emperor here. You have someone who is very sharp with their tongue. Someone who likes to control. Okay. That will come forward with a pas passionate message for you. So let's figure out why do we have the five of pentacles or why is she out in the cold? Okay. It's like, to me, the five of pentacles is of uh, stability. It's having that money, it's having that career, it's having that job, it's having that love. And then someone just stopped, okay, and left you out in the cold. So we need to, but this is basically, if it's reversed, that means we're coming out of that energy field of being left out in the cold. We're saying, okay, you left me out in the cold, okay, what's next? You see what I'm saying? Like, that's what the Pisces need to be doing, like coming out of that energy. Okay, so we have, oof. The Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. You see, she's bound, okay? And someone stabbed her in the back, the Ten of Swords, okay? And then you have the Ten of Wands, okay? Ten of Wands could be someone who, who is trying to come forward, okay? But I don't know. The energy that I'm feeling here is suspicious and maybe not to be trusted. Because maybe that person will leave you out in the cold again. Who knows, you know? So let's see again. Let's ask Spirit. Why do we have the five of pentacles in reverse for Pisces? Okay. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave comments. I appreciate the comments. Don't be afraid to share your story. The five of pentacles. Why is the five of pentacles here for Pisces in reverse regarding love? Who's left out in the cold spirit for our lovely Pisces? Why is the Five of Pentacles here in reverse for Pisces Spirit? Why is the Five of Pentacles here regarding love? Who's left out in the cold for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here, Spirit? Okay. Wow, we got five cards. And underneath the deck, okay, you have the Seven of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. Okay, so the Seven of Cups is someone who's having options. Okay. And you have the Hierophant. It's a Taurus energy in reverse, a marriage card. Okay. You have the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. It's like, look, this is the end of my total uh, financial displacement. And you're sitting pretty with your pentacles. You're no longer being abused. You're not going to allow someone to abuse you financially. You have the eight of cups. Someone walking away. So now someone wants to return. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Someone walked away from this um, this love union. Now someone is regretting why they, why they walked away. Or in the beginning, we had the hermit energy here where it's like you're sitting and first you're waiting but you're no longer waiting but the hermit energy is going in within and now someone is realizing that the grass is not green on the other side so you have a passionate offer coming in pisces from a leo sagittarius aries or just from the person that left you okay so you have a passionate offer and the the, the hair of font is a taurus card and this is stability, someone high authority, someone who's in um, maybe the church or police department, a healer perhaps, someone that is in the high authority or someone looks up to that person, that's in reverse, okay? So what I'm seeing is that person is someone you, perhaps you was looking forward to have the stability with. Okay, the Page of Pentacles. Someone you was looking forward to having a love, a long re relationship with, and that person left you out in the cold. Okay, but now that person is regretting leaving you out in the cold, or you left them out in the cold. Okay? So, Pisces, that is your reading. Namaste.